don't know if you agree with that you, statement look, of American I mean, interests I, or not. You know, I'm very committed to the, I mean, I think the essay in the, uh, in, in the book on, on, that the Muslim author wrote is very consistent with my own uh, Abdullah Saeed. Yeah, uh, uh, my own views and understandings. I mean, I think they're, they're uh, I mean, there's, these are really debated issues now, and I think a lot of uh, uh, people in the West don't understand that within the Muslim community, most of these great teaching institutions have been destroyed. And so really solid intellectual uh, rigor now in the is Islamic scholastic tradition is limited to a very few places. I mean, Turkey fortunately still has very real uh, scholastic tradition. And Turkey, I think, they're really grappling with a lot of these issues. And, uh, but, you know, I, I think these have to be solved within the Islamic framework. If they're not, it's, it's, it's going to be... Um, it's going to cause, I think, much more harm than good. And, th and that's why I think it's very important in terms of empowering the Muslims themselves. Uh, and, th and this has to be done. This is what I'm committed to, certainly, because uh, the, the, I, and I just read there's an article uh, on Islam and apostasy on Wikipedia where they actually quote a book saying that it's agreed upon that anybody that leaves Islam is to be uh, sentenced to death, and then it's preferable that the imam carries out the, uh, the uh, th which is absurd, and then and if they can't do it, any Muslim could do it with no legal ramifications. And this is with a citation and a quote on, on Wikipedia. There's no foundation whatsoever for that. This issue is a... a, a, a uh, it's, it's, there's disagreement on the issue. There's early scholars that were opposed to it. Rarely were apostasy laws ever implemented uh, historically. This is well known. Uh, one of the great poets uh, of Islam, uh, Abu Alan Ma'arri, complete uh, atheist naturalist in the, in the line of Lucretius, who uh, was very opposed to religion um, and wrote poems about his uh, being opposed to religion, lived to the ripe old age of, I think, 89 in Halab in Syria. I think they left him alone because he was such a great poet, and the Arabs really appreciate great poetry. But you shouldn't have to be a great poet to be free from religious persecution. Mm -hmm.